Hello, this is Dr. Nancy Barriman. I teach courses in Human Resource Management in the Barton School of Business at Wichita State University. This is my podcast discussion of reliability and validity. Reliability and validity are two interrelated concepts that are very important in a variety of contexts. In the test validation context, reliability refers to consistency of measurement and validity refers to whether a test measures what it is intended to measure. These two different concepts can be computed using exactly the same formula. Both of them can be expressed as correlation coefficients or R. In order to tell them apart, it is useful to use this notation. R sub XY is used to indicate validity, the correlation between X and Y. Reliability is indicated using R sub XX or R sub YY, indicating that it represents the correlation between two instances of the same variable. The idea of reliability comes to us from measurement theory. We can think of any measurement or obtained value as being composed of two parts. One part is called error, and the other part is considered the true level of what we are measuring. Let's say that we measure your height using a yardstick. There is some error component in the measurement that might be due to how we hold the yardstick. Reliability is conceptualized as the ratio of the true amount to the total value obtained. If le error is a large component, that is, our measuring tool is not very consistent, then the reliability would be much less than 1. Because of this way in which reliability is conceptualized, reliability ranges from 0 to plus 1 and is never negative. So how do we go about estimating reliability? We can measure something twice, called test-retest reliability. We can measure something using two different methods, called parallel or equivalent forms. We can ask two different raters to measure something. This is called inter-rater reliability. Other methods of estimating reliability exist as well. So why is reliability important? There is a very important interaction between reliability and validity. The reliability with which two variables are measured places a ceiling on the maximum amount of validity that is possible. The formula that is described here shows that mathematical relationship. Here I have used different reliabilities for two variables, x and y, and used the formula to illustrate the maximum validity that would be possible. Notice that as reliability decreases, so does the maximum validity. Here is a very useful application of reliability. Let's say that we know the reliability of a test, and we also know that test's standard deviation. We can combine these two numbers to calculate the standard error of measurement. The standard error of measurement is equal to the standard deviation times the square root of 1 minus the reliability. How do we use the standard error of measurement? We can use it to construct confidence intervals that will allow us uh, to interpret an individual score on a test. Let's do an example and show how we can use this to interpret an individual score. We use the numbers from the previous slide where the standard deviation of the test is 5 and the reliability is 0.85 and plug those numbers into the standard error of measurement formula. Doing this, we find that the standard error of measurement is equal to 1.94. Notice that the standard error of measurement must be multiplied by 2 in order to construct a 95% confidence interval. We use this standard error of measurement, 3.87, to calculate the confidence interval around Joe's score of 25 and Jane's score of 30. 
Notice that since there is overlap between the two ranges, we cannot say that Jane is clearly better. In the selection context, validity is frequently used to describe the relationship between a test score and job performance. In a more general sense, it is the degree to which available evidence supports inferences made from the scores. Also, we need to remember the impact of reliability on validity in that it places a ceiling on the maximum amount of validity possible. You will remember that conceptually, reliability can only vary from zero to plus one. Validity, on the other hand, can vary from minus one to plus one, and it is the absolute magnitude of the coefficient that is important. Here are some examples of graphs showing various validity coefficients plotted on XY coordinates. Try to match each of the graphs with the appropriate description from the bottom. Here are the correct answers. Did you get them right? In conclusion, Remember that reliability can be used to calculate the standard error of measurement. The larger the reliability, the smaller the standard error of measurement, and the narrower the confidence interval will be. Reliability is also important in that it places an upper limit on validity. It should be noted, and this is very important, that reliability does not guarantee validity, it only makes it possible. Reliability is a necessary but not sufficient condition for validity.